Hey, welcome to the follow through. I'm Pastor Fred, and we are continuing to look at uh, how do we make disciples who make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. I mean, how do we do that? And uh, all this week, we're going to get a uh, uh, again one of these shifts we need to make as churches, as families, as believers away from just thinking that the goal at church is just to pack people in. I mean, it feels good, it's great. Love having people, because uh, the more people there, the more people get to hear about Jesus. However, th that doesn't is not just supposed to happen on Sunday morning, but it can, it's supposed to happen every day, all the time. We're supposed to be gathering together every day, all the time, as much as we can, because we need each other, man. We're living in a world that's at war with this, that's at war with who God is and what he's done, at war with the truth, that doesn't want to confess sin and doesn't want to acknowledge that and acknowledge that, that Jesus died for all of that and we are loved by him and forgiven by him. And so let, let's look at a snapshot of the early church. Acts chapter 2, uh, verse 42, it says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, the fellowship, the breaking of bread, and the prayers. Real simple doesn't say what kind of church building. It didn't say what their pastors wore, what kind of music they played, right? It doesn't say whether they had a van that went and picked people up. It doesn't say, right? All those are all ways to help to, to make the thing keep going, right? Organizational things, structural things, support things. But these are the things. And, and listen, it, it always goes back to people and Jesus. Jesus and people. That's what we need. That's what you have as a church. Healthy church focuses on that, on what Christ is, what he has done, and us gathering together, supporting each other, helping each other. In this passage, it's saying that we were devoted to what the apostles taught, right? All that Jesus said, all that he did, all that they saw, their eyewitness testimony, about his words, his miracles. Man, he gave sight to the blind. He raised the dead. Did, he did incredible things. He, he showed us what, what God is all about. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And the apostles bring us that truth. And so this early group of, of believers, these first Christians, were like, man, this is what matters. We need to, to, to center ourselves around what these teachings are, what this testimony was about who God is. But also we, we need to fellowship. We need to realize that we're in this together, that we love each other, we're gonna support each other, we're gonna create this thriving community, right? It's not just come to church and go home, but it's like, you're my brother, you're my sister. That's what they call themselves. And some churches still continue to do that. They, they call brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so. I love that because it acknowledges I mean, we're family. It's who we are. It's deeper than just being a church member. We got to get back to what that what member means. It's a part of your of, of your body, right? The church is it's called the body of Christ. Arms, legs, hands, feet, right? All these different parts together, right? Fellowship. We break bread. Could mean two things, right? We share meals. Meals are, are a very intimate thing. It's a very a, a sign of acceptance, an expression of acceptance, um, right? It could also mean the, the very body and blood of Christ, right? Holy communion where again, this truth is brought to us, this, this forgiveness brought to us in a real and tangible way where we, 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 we don't, don't just remember in our heads, but in our hearts and our souls, what Jesus did for us, man. We go back to that upper room and we see the sacrifice. We see how planned it was. We see how intentional it was and how much he loves us and, and what he did for us. And so the, in, in, in any meal that we share, it's this expression that we're in this together, we love each other, and we are there, and we're praying. And we are praying. Because it all depends on Him, not on us. Do you see that? It's all focused around Jesus. It's all focused around us, right? Jesus and people, and God's people. So let's keep that focus. Let's, let's make sure that happens. Let's make sure, let's champion that in wherever we are. Uh, let, let's see how we can get together with the people around us. People that you see on Sunday morning, man, find somebody go, man, that, that's a real good friend. I haven't really talked with them outside of church, right? Maybe I, I, I go to church and I go home and, I, and I maybe I don't talk to anybody. Reach out, reach out, you reach out, okay? And give somebody a call. Just make that connection because we need each other. All right, that's what it means to be a disciple. We walk with him and we walk together. 
You have a great rest of your day. Hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody, and we'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.